Five army personnel were arrested for involvement in the attack on Keith Noyer. This is not the first time that the army has been implicated in incidents against journalists. Will the perpetrators be brought to book? Find out on News Matters. The abduction and assault of Keith Noyer finally saw light when five army personnel, including a major, were arrested last month for involvement in the incident, which took place in 2008. Noyer, who was the deputy editor of the nation at the time, left the country shortly after the attack, never to return. Late last year, Rivera editor Upali Tenakun returned to the country after an exile of eight years to pick out, at an identification parade, the man responsible for his assault in 2009. The man Tenakun picked out is a former sergeant attached to the Army Intelligence Unit. The La Santa Vikramatunga case also saw light last year when a warrant officer attached to the Directorate of Military Intelligence was arrested for involvement. The CID told court last week that they suspect the same team to be involved in the attacks on all of the three senior journalists. But what is manifestly clear is that none of these armed personnel have personal grievances with any of the journalists they attacked. This raises the question, who gave the orders? Now, logically speaking, there are only two quarters from which the orders could have come. One, the apex of the defence apparatus. Two, the apex of the political apparatus. Using a process of elimination, it is easy to find out who was at the right place at the right time to give the kind of orders that resulted in the murder of one journalist and the brutal assault on two others. But law enforcement officers can't act on mere speculation. They need evidence proof that these orders were given by such and such a person at such and such a time. But neither proof nor confession is forthcoming and the public at large have lost faith that the answer to this question will ever be answered. The answer, as Bob Dylan put it, is blowing in the wind. That there is no answer forthcoming has tarnished the image of the current government in the international arena, but politics makes strange bedfellows. Politics is a devious game marked by affiliation, loyalty and various other packs and deals and going by past experiences, it doesn't seem like the perpetrators of these heinous crimes will be brought to book. But if there's any party that can change this equation, it is the people, the citizens of this country. One of the main achievements of the Rainbow Revolution was the empowerment of the citizen and its collective voice. Citizens can use their rights to demand the perpetrators of the crimes against these senior journalists are brought to book. It is only if the people push for answers that the government will be forthcoming and we will all learn who commanded these attacks against the media and Sri Lanka can truly say it is governed by democratic principles. Join us for another segment of News Matters on Tuesday. I am Royal Raymond. Get the Daily News app free on your mobile phone. Visit apps.lakehouse.lk and download today. Daily News. Be better informed.